Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom Brittany, guys. Another video. Guys, this is today's video. We're going to give you guys the 10 steps to how to become a better shotgun player in Fortnite. Now, guys, using the shotgun is huge in Fortnite. If you are actually really good with the shotgun, you can actually go pro just being good at the shotgun. I mean, look at Daquan. Daquan is... His shotgun shot's amazing. I mean, he's also good at building and all this other stuff. But his shotgun shot, that's what he's known for is his shotgun's ability. And that's basically what we're going to do is cover 10 steps to how to become better with the shotgun. Let's get into it. Starting off with step number one, guys. A lot of you guys probably already know this, but it is knowing what is the best shotgun to use. So if you guys don't know, there are different shotguns in the game. There are different colors and all that stuff. Some people don't know what it means yet, and they don't know. This is, this is basically step one. It's basically for beginners. A lot of you guys know this part so skip step one ignore this part but basically the pump shotgun the gray pump shotgun is better than every single shotgun until you get to about the blue tactical shotgun now when you get the green pump that's better than every shotgun except when you get to the purple shotgun the purple tactical that's when they about even out uh with damage so if you see a green tactical shotgun laying on the ground, don't drop your green pump or your gray pump for the green tactical because the gray pump will still do more damage than the green tack and it is still a better shotgun to use. Now if you prefer the tacks, stick with the tacks, but if you want to get good with the pumps, I'm telling you now, if you're actually good with the pumps, you can become a top dominant player. So get good with it, practice with it, and learn to adjust with it. Now step number two, now that the double pump has been nerfed and people aren't really using it at all in the game, there's basically another double pump method that everyone's using and basically a lot of the people are using this method what they're doing is they're running a pump as their main shotgun and then they have a tactical shotgun as their secondary so once they get the shot or if they miss their shot they can switch to their attack and shoot with that gun and switch to that shotgun instead of using the pump the whole time now the reason they do this is because again like i said the double pump is gone and shotguns are very good in this game when it comes to up close fights so anytime you're up close with somebody having a shotgun you're definitely going to dominate them over them having an AR if you know what I'm saying so that's why it's good and important to have a shotgun but if you have the pump and you don't finish the kill it takes way too long to pump the shotgun and you'll probably die in the time so that's why a lot of people are actually running the tactical shotgun as a, another equipment and they're just switching from the pump to the tack shotgun it's kind of like double pumping but it's not the double pump shotgun it's just double shotgun now for step number three if you guys want to become better with shotguns and you're running the pump or actually any gun you want to go for headshots I know it, it's a little bit harder to hit a headshot because you got to be looking up on the person and the hit radius on a headshot's a lot smaller than going for a body shot but when it comes to critical moments and stuff like that you want to get that critical headshot so that way they can just get one pumped or one tacked in the face and go down so you're not worried about them because if you guys both shoot each other if you shoot first and then he shoots he's gonna get his shot off and he's gonna end up taking out some of your health because you didn't one shot him it's just it's very important to one shot people in this game when it comes to the shotgun fight so aim for the head I know it's gonna be hard to get used to it but if you guys watch in this clip every single time i pumped these kids i was aiming for the head got one that's it uh -huh. i got him Next up, we have step number four, guys. This is a huge step. You guys got to actually listen to this and do this because this is how you're going to hit 80% of your shots. I mean, you really got to be good at this in order to be really good with the shotgun. So what it is, is let your motion hit the shot. So basically, instead of aiming with your right thumbstick to switch between people uh, to hit them with your right thumbstick by looking right or left, have your guys stand still and then just jump. Jump in a certain direction knowing that eventually your hit markers or your, your cursor where your shots are, it's going to land on the person and then that's that's when you're gonna pull the trigger like you guys can see in this clip I don't do anything with my right thumbstick I literally you guys can see I don't move right or left I just jump and let my characters center point touch the person and the second I see it touch that's when I pull the trigger Step number four was a big step that I want you guys to actually practice and work on because that can really change your shotgun game by a lot once you perfect that. But besides that, let's get into step number five, which is your sensitivity. I know a lot of people want to play on a high sensitivity because you can build a lot quicker when you play on a high sensitivity, no doubt about that. But the one problem is when you have a high sensitivity is you cannot hit your shotgun shots because a lot of your shotgun shots are hip fires. So you're moving right or left with your hip fire shot to hit your shotgun shots. And if your sensitivity is too high, you're going to be whiffing your shots and you're just 
just gonna miss the person completely so I suggest playing on like four to five sensitivity if you can control higher than that work with it but if, if you notice that you're missing a lot of your shotgun shots you're just whiffing it and you're, you're not getting close to hitting the person it's probably because your sensitivity is too high just lower it it's fine to play on like four or four I think Nick Marks play on plays on a really low sensitivity so and he hits all his shots and he's top tier player in the game on console so don't feel bad if you play on a lower sensitivity you can make it work as long as you're hitting your shots that's all that matters step number six is getting high ground I know a lot of people want to fight their shotgun fights ground to ground but if you have high ground advantage on someone in a shotgun battle you're definitely gonna have the advantage on that person because one they have to look up and they don't know where you are because they can't see you because the floorboard is covering you but if you're up high you can third person peek them to see where they are and then line up your shot and then take the shot so it's a lot better to have high ground advantage one because the other person's either a looking up at you and not knowing where you are or b they're trying to build up to you so you have that chance while they have their building material out to take the shotgun shots on them so that's why get a high ground advantage and it, it'll definitely help out a lot step number seven is knowing when to use it there's been plenty of times and i know you guys have seen this too where you rush somebody and they're literally standing 40 feet away from you with their shotgun out trying to shoot you and you're just like wait what are they doing what are they thinking i've run into kids like that all the time so you got to know when to use your shotgun and when to use your ar if they're any distance farther than like 20 feet away from you do not use your shotgun if you have a pump shotgun it does reach a little bit farther than a normal shotgun but if you see they're a little bit farther just switch to your ar and use your ar or build up closer to them and then that way you can use your shotgun but don't be shooting them from a mile away with a shotgun thinking it's going to do something because the farther back they are the less damage you're going to do to that person step number eight guys is calming your nerves this is the biggest one it's hard to do there's no really tip on how to do this but i know when you're playing the game you sit there and you're freaking out in shotgun fights no other gunfight do you freak out like a shotgun fight gunfight those are when your blood's like oh my god crap crap this is intense this is intense those are the most intense fights in the game because it's up close and you can easily die by a shotgun so when i say calming your nerves you gotta literally sit there take a deep breath know that you're a good player know that you're gonna win that fight and just keep that mindset that knowing hey i'm gonna win this fight this kid's probably bad it's all right just you gotta work on this on your own this really takes practice within yourself it's okay to be nervous even the best players get nervous when they get into shotgun fights guys even when i'm in a shotgun fight my heart is racing i'm like oh crap this is scary but you gotta just calm down and focus focus up on the gameplay do not sit there and freak out just concentrate man step number nine is zooming in your shot so basically i know i said you have to hit fire a lot of your shotgun fights but this is not true if you want to actually hit your shots you're going to want to do a quick zoom in kind of like a quick scope with the shotgun it's going to be a quick zoom in and then take your shotgun shot now this one it focuses more on one target so if you hit that person with that shot it's going to do a lot more damage than a normal hit fire shot and two if it's a headshot of course it'll be more critical than just a normal hit fire headshot that does barely any damage because the, the center point is a lot smaller so if you're more centered on it there's more of that target in your in your crosshair so you're gonna definitely hit the shot this is what it looks like on screen now oh, all the way at the bottom Got one. so yeah as you guys can see it is a instantly quick zoom in then shot then you can do whatever you want but it does a lot more damage now step number 10 is the last step it's practice 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 you guys will never get good with the shotgun unless you actually push yourself out of your comfort zone so basically if you see a base or you see a team of people don't sit there with an ar and shoot them from a distance because anyone can get a kill like that if you want to actually truly get better with the shotgun push them with your actual shotgun and try and see if you can kill them with your shotgun because one it'll make you better and two building it'll definitely help out on building those are the 10 steps to become a shotgun pro in the game basically if you actually master all these 10 steps you're going to become one of the top dominant players in the game so guys go out practice these tips again i'll cover it real quick knowing what is the best shotgun in the game the double pump which is having two shotguns in your inventory pump head shots basically any shotgun shot goes to the head if you aim for the head more you will instantly critical hit somebody and kill them instantly which is good let your motion hit so let your left thumb stick actually control where you take the shot at uh your set sensitivity don't have it too high if you're missing a lot of your shots it's probably because your sensitivity is too high getting high ground is the next one it's very important to have high ground so you're looking down at them rather than looking up so building learning how to build is good if you guys didn't check out my last building video there's what it looks like on screen right there knowing when to use your shotgun compared to rather your ar or your shotgun and of course calming your nerves you guys you guys got to really focus on the gameplay don't freak out too much zoom in your shots is exactly the last one i showed you and number 10 is practice 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 
this makes it perfect. But guys, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Guys, please show some love on this video. If you guys love the tips and tricks videos that I bring you guys and it does help, let me know down in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up. You guys usually kill 500 likes in my videos. It's insane. I love you guys so much for all the support you guys have been giving me. Road to 90K, dude. We're about to hit 90K in the next day or two. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Knock him.